Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and today we're playing The Sims 4 and I'm sure you're just as excited as me because The Sims 4 nifty knitting stuff pack has just released. As you can see, I'm overwhelmed. Uh, I can't contain my excitement. No, but <laughs> this was voted in by the community, so obviously people want it and uh, I've already come up with a dastardly scheme. Before we get started, I want to show you something that means a lot to me. I spent two and a half hours making this on a stream. It's Innocent Knitting Shop, but if you're not good at picking up on tone and text, you may not realize that sarcasm. Yes, behind this innocent little cottage hides a great secret. But before I show you the great secret, take a look at that. Look, look at that garden. Look, we have like a, a bathtub in there and everything. Wait, let me, let me show you at night. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, look, look at that. Isn't that nice? If I mean anything to you at all, like uh, most YouTubers ask for subs and likes, just, just please comment something nice about the cottage. Let's take a quick little look inside. As you can see, very quirky, very rustic. But what do we have here? A hidden bookcase with a ladder that leads downstairs. And the downstairs? This is terrifying. <laughs> I mean, this is case in point, really. But we got a nice sealed unit here where I can force people to knit for me to supply the upstairs store with lots of knitting goods that we can sell. I like how the music went menacing, like, as soon as we went downstairs. <laughs> but yeah, that's the cottage. Long-winded intro, sorry, but I had to explain a few things. Of course, we can't just afford to buy that thing. A Turg and Jim have next to no money. But luckily, last episode, we found someone who just happened to win the lottery. <laughs> it's all tying together. The microphone is a great way to practice comedy skill and amuse guests. Um, so there was this magic tractor, um, that turned into a field. Do you get it? Because he was- he was magic. That tooltip lied to me. Wait, why did he just go megaphone plus? Does that mean I need to just say the joke louder? So there was a magic turned into a field. Oh god, which one was it that won the lottery again? There should be a third bar on these. Like, you got friendship, romance, and then money. <laughs> so you can see who's the rich one. I think it's this one. Alright, she's coming right over. <laughs> so I just heard you won the lottery, and incidentally, I have an amazing business plan involving knitting. <laughs> I fabricated something cool for you last weekend because I think you're pretty cool. Can I come in and show it to you. I don't even know who you are, but yeah, come on in. Sorry about the kid, he's moody because I'm about to lock him in the bottom of a retail store and force him to knit for me. Wait, no, the gift's for the kid? What kind of Get out of my house. She gave him one plumbing upgrade part. Oh yes, of course. Every kid loves a plumbing upgrade part. I know that was on my list for Christmas. Okay, the sun is in the right position. Jim is as charming as ever. Let's see what one chat with Jim Pickens can do. Here he goes. She is now pregnant. Plintaceba. Yeah, Plintaceba. All right, now ask for a small loan of one million dollars. <laughs> what do you mean investing one million dollars into a small knitting cottage isn't a good idea? You're being ridiculous. I guess I'll have to take it by force then. There we go, one million dollars. She's now in the family. Don't worry, there's plenty of space in the knitting cottage's basement for kids. That's forward thinking. Oh, the kid's reading Turga bedtime story. <laughs> Please go the f to sleep. It is really the kid taking care of the adults here. Maybe he will make use of that plumbing part. Wait, what is going on here? What the hell was that? I thought you were my- You know what? It doesn't matter. I'm locking you in the basement anyway. Buy a retail store. Some would argue a million is a lot, but... He just wants it. It's not about money. It's about his passion. And he has a passion for locking people in basements. <laughs> what? I bought it. And the game just went, okay. <laughs> I think it started to get worried about what I'm doing. Unfortunately, you're about 100 episodes too late. Okay, all this money is going into the business. Yep, down you go into the basement. I only have two workers right now, but she's about to pop. So I'll have at least three soon. Locked door for everyone but Jim. Now you can't get out. And this door. <laughs> Welcome to your new home. Uh, the beds are over here. Um, there's toilets in there if you need them. We got built-in showers. You got a, a men's room and a women's room. And I got this little mirror for the kids. You know, the, the nice little friendly one. All right, start knitting. Knit beanies. <laughs> White tiger beanies. They're so in fashion right now. Wired the knitting skill. They have never knit before. And now they're knitting for a commercial business. Rumble oh, and Jim is talking to a tree stump. All right, we're going to need some employees. We just need one to man the cash register. And then we're good. Who's the cheapest? God, you guys are demanding. Look at these fees. I guess when all the other employees are costing me nothing, it's not too bad. If you could hurry up, that would be fantastic. <laughs> like, I, I really need <laughs> the kid in the back in rocking chair. I really need some stock, though. Like, my shop has nothing in it. I put a lot of your money into this. Chilo? He's, like, crying. I just want my knitting business to take off. Will you please come in? His knitting project is complete. Okay, great. Oh, isn't that lovely? Wait, what are you doing? Uh, really? Bye. 
Look I don't think you understand the rules here. You knit and you slay. That is it. <laughs> He's just sitting here on his porch waiting, <laughs> waiting for the knitting to be done. Unfortunately, it looks like you can't take the hats out of the inventory, but maybe it would be good to show off our um, merchandise by wearing it. Yeah, that looks great. Oh my god, that must be demeaning. <laughs> I wonder if I could put that as the employee's uniform. <laughs> It's like he's on the verge of tears. Oh my god, I could make him wear a turg mask, but no, no, we don't want to do that. We want to show off the knitting skills of our employees, you know, employees. <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't know how to knit pants or jumpers at the moment, so it's just the hat. Maybe soon we'll figure out underwear as well. 100% <laughs> wool underwear. I can't think of anything more uncomfortable. Hey, careful down there. I can't let the fire department down to you. So if a fire starts, it's kind of your problem. Okay, knitting project complete. Fantastic. There we go. That's our first project. This is the only thing we have for sale, so let's put it on the stump. And now you can say, frankly, sir, if you don't buy this, I'd be stomped. <laughs> And then it's an instant sale. How much are we selling this for? If it's not a million simoleons, this business idea may not be the best I've ever come up with. Oh, and Gideon has made some socks. Unfortunately, I don't think that's really going to help. Unless I can put them on the mannequins, which might work. Mannequin, yes, hat and socks. Perfect. <laughs> Weirdest looking mannequins ever. Like, why did you buy mannequins? Like full body mannequins just for hats and socks? Wait, what's he doing? <laughs> There's a bench right there <laughs> if you wanted to take a nap. What is this? <laughs> you can see the little hat sticking up. Oh, that is fantastic. That is just a blessed sight right there. All right, we're doing 100% markup because I think that's the only way we could actually make some money here. All right, a time to open for business. <laughs> let's hope my employee shows up and let's hope that the one item I have for sale right now works. Wait a second. Is this working? Purchase outfit $350. Wow, <laughs> it's so in fashion. It's so... Vogue. Just throwing out words there that I, I don't know what they mean, but it sounds flashy. Words like Vogue, Chic, and Nice. Hello, my good man, and welcome to Innocent Knitting Shop. If you'd like- Oh, wait, you're my employee. Hold on, I'll get out of the way. Sorry, I've been just talking to myself here for quite a while. <laughs> well, talking with friends, as Jim puts it. Hey, stop distracting your fellow employee and go knit something, would you, you bastard? Oh, you're interested in the outfit. Yes, it's very, um, uh, what's another fashion word? Um... Uh, naked? I- I don't know. I- I don't know what to say. Wait, invest in legal money-making scheme? Yes. <laughs> yes, I would love to. Yes, put in $1,000. I opened a store and somehow when a customer comes in, I end up spending money. Oh my god, they bought it immediately. It's like, I love that look. <laughs> and they just changed it to it straight away. Oh wait, no, they just tried it on and then put it back on the mannequin. I am pissed. <laughs> and it's the dear leader day tomorrow. Come on, you better buy something. I'm <laughs> immediately asking her, how is the investment? Going. She's like, uh, it's gonna take a while. It was two minutes ago. Sir, I feel like it's my duty to tell you that that man over there just had those underwear socks and hats on before you. Oh, folks, we just got a new knitting item. The prisoner in the basement, I mean, the, our suppliers just gave it to us. Look at that. Isn't it lovely? It's it's a poof. Yeah, I don't sit on it. Who is taking pictures here? Are you collecting evidence or something? Get out. Okay, you've tried on that thing three times. Either buy it or get out. This isn't like a clothes library, all right? You, you buy it or you get Get out. You can't just try things on like that. You, you stretch them all out. There are stains. <laughs> Come on. Look how excited he is about knitting. <laughs> Keep convincing him. Keep convincing. Oh, wait, he's ready to buy. Hold on. Ignore that other dude. Where's my employee? I, I have an employee here somewhere. Oh, of course. He's sitting out in the rocking chair. Working hard or hardly working, huh? I want to be a ninja when I grow up. You don't need to worry about that. You're not going to grow up. I like how Jim's like, start practicing your hiding if you want to be a ninja just because he doesn't want to get caught. Yes, he purchased the outfit for 350 Fifty dollars. Fantastic, my first sale. <laughs> Everyone in the town is gonna be walking around in this outfit. <laughs> Alright, kid, the outfits are working. I need you to get knitting again. Some pink raccoon socks. Yeah, that would be nice. The beanies and socks combination are working out great so far. 100% success rate. So you go ahead and make a green hat and we'll mix them up together. Come on, team. Get to work. <laughs> He's just sitting out there talking to himself in the rain, thinking about trains. <laughs> Maybe I should train you to be a good employee. How about that? I think I should fire him, to be honest. 
and this will be a, a, a no overheads business. I've just realized he's not even wearing his feckin' outfit. Maybe that's what I should do. Just make him wear an outfit. He doesn't even need to work. Just model the outfit. Show how good it can look. There we go. <laughs> Waiting at the door now. It's like, oh, I'm not even an employee. I'm just a, a customer. I love the outfit so much. I'm just chilling here for a while in the rain and stuff. Uh, you know, it's, it's really nice. You should buy one. <laughs> I still have no idea what you're taking pictures of, but please at least publish an article about my store. He's ready to buy. He's ready to buy. Okay, you ready for this paparazzi? Get a picture of this hot new outfit. Please get out of the way, sir, who possibly might be my son. I'm not actually sure. No, we're just acquainted and sorry, I get confused sometimes. I hear you've been building your- No, I'm not into magic anymore, I'm into knitting. <laughs> Wait, where'd that guy go? I, I didn't even get to see him wearing the outfit, that's half the fun. I, I'll call him back. <laughs> oh, she's going into labor. <laughs> like, that's not important right now, we've got a potential model coming over here. Please wear the outfit if you're going to buy it. <laughs> okay, I think I may have to, um change up the strategy a bit. I think lower prices to get people wearing the outfits and then word will spread. How are you doing down here? Are you showering? You know, I just thought of something actually. It's it's funny because you're, you're here doing free labor while going into labor. You know, there's two different types of labor. You know, I'm gonna leave you shower and I'll, um, I'll see you later. It's almost 3 a.m. and all these people are still hanging out in this knitting store. Oh, promoted, great. He's a ringleader now who also moonlights as a sales assistant in a knitting store. She keeps trying to go to the hospital and like she can't, she's locked in there. I'm gonna go home. You guys, best of luck with the baby thing. I'm, I'm going home. Look at that. Profit, even though we're still trying to figure things out. Wait, how did you get out of here? You know what? It doesn't matter. We left the kid behind. That's the important thing. <laughs> there we go. They're just popping out now. Emily just gave birth to a baby boy. We're gonna call it Knit Girl. Another baby boy. We're gonna call it Knit Woman. And a baby girl. <laughs> of course, this is gonna be Knit Boy. The worst superhero ever. There we go. Triplets. <laughs> That's three times the knitting output. Knit Woman is very hungry without a phoenix. It just got here. Don't be needy. Oh my god, what is wrong with her face? <laughs> All right, you know what? That doesn't matter right now. We're going knitting. Oh my god, everyone's still here from the night before. People are starting to smell. Please don't try on the knitting clothes if you smell that bad. That's a new one. <laughs> I can still see the knitting. Um, I'm gonna let you deal with that by yourself. I'll be upstairs if any of you need me or anything. Um, doing this little dance. I call it the I'm not glitching out dance. And uh, yeah, best of luck with that. He's dancing with the mannequin. And that rocking chair is rocking by itself, by the way. Maybe it's the wind. Maybe that's normal in this world. I mean, if this is happening in comparison, a rocking chair moving around is pretty normal. Hell, the person left, but they must have been leaning against the wall. The wall stinks. Oh, wait, no, it's the bush. Okay, that, that makes a bit more sense. Uh, maybe we can try and set it for sale because, uh, I mean, what did he knit? He's knitting of his own accord now, which is great. That is a great success for child labor. God, he's a knitting machine. Look at all this stuff he's knitted. You're doing fantastic. Look at that. There we go. That is... That is lovely. Great job. Ah! Wait, why are you screaming at the employee? Leave him alone. We got lots of customers here that want to be ringed up. Everyone wants to buy this outfit. Oh my God, these outfits are just flying. Everyone wants them. I knew I understood fashion. Hey, fellow kids. The kid's already knitting level five. He's doing so well down there and he's just knitting of his own accord. It's nonstop. Look at that, another one sold. I've somehow incorporated knitwear into summer outfits. Like the sun is blasting, but because of its minimalist approach, it, it just works. There's a line forming to use the bush, I think. Yeah, one thing this cottage is missing is a toilet. Okay, this business is a huge success. I think Next time, we're gonna try and improve on it even more. We're gonna hire more employees and when I can unlock some slots. But if we can get more employees coming, I, th I think the whole neighborhood's gonna be buying these outfits. We're really onto something here. This is a very successful plan. One of my prisoners is at least happy. The other one is not performing as well, possibly due to the fact they've been glitching out and uh, also they've just had triplets. It must be rough, but you know what? Suck it up. Ideally, I need three employees. One to answer questions, one to ring people up, and one to restock, and then I'll be fine. I'm excited. I'm very excited for this knitting business. Fantastic idea, if I do say so myself. And I do. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This was a blast, and I don't know if you noticed, but I also bought the laundry day pack. I figured it was on sale and you know, they go hand in hand together. So exciting times in my life right now. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I appreciate you watching as always. <laughs> I'm just really loving The Sims again. Uh, the soft reboot was a fantastic idea. Um, but yeah, I, I, I hope you enjoyed. Appreciate you.
And uh, if you want to watch more of me, I post every day. I also stream over on Twitch four times a week. The link for that is in the description. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you next time, folks. Bye for now.